Hi! I have a clarinet case here and today we're going to learn how to take out the reed and get it wet and put the mouthpiece together with the barrel and put the reed on and blow to get a sound. I have my clarinet case on the floor and I want you to pay attention to which side of the case is right side up. On my case, and this is probably true for yours as well, the brand name of the instrument is on top and it's not on the bottom. If you don't have any labels, what you're looking for is for your latches to flip up. My latches kind of just pop open like that. Yours will probably lift up. And if we open the case, you can see all the pieces. And they didn't spill, which is the goal. Um, if you would take out a reed and if it's in a plastic case, you just sort of pull it out. And you can either suck on the reed or let it soak in a cup of water. It's preferable to soak it in water because um, your saliva actually is acidic and your reed will last longer if you're soaking it with water. Uh, if you don't have any, you just take the flat side of the reed and put it on your tongue about halfway in and suck on it for one minute. If you have a small cup, I have a film case here. This is film from cameras, boys and girls, um, that were not digital. But also a prescription bottle works real well if you wash it out and you just fill that with water and let your reed soak for a minute while you're putting your instrument together. It's a perfect vessel for your water. So I'm going to get mine wet. Pretend I'm getting it wet. While that is soaking, I want you to take out your mouthpiece. Your mouthpiece looks like this. And you have a cap, a mouthpiece cap. Pull that off. It just protects it. You don't use it when you're playing. Put it down. And what you're left with is the mouthpiece and the ligature, which is the thing that holds the reed in place. If you have the kind of ligature I have, which is the basic standard kind, the screws should be facing you on the opening of the mouthpiece and pointing to your right. To loosen them, twist them towards you. So I'm going to do that. I loosen it and I can just lift the ligature right off. Um, I'm going to keep it somewhere safe. I'll keep it in my lap. Then I want you to take the next piece, which is your barrel. This has no keys on it whatsoever. Looks like a barrel. There are two sides to it. The smaller side, if you look carefully, you can see there's a smaller side and, and a bigger side. The mouthpiece is going to attach to the smaller side, and you just twist them together. You may need cork grease to help those pieces attach, particularly if you have a new instrument or if you have new corks, if your corks have been replaced. So to put cork grease on, it looks like chapstick, I just dab a little on, I might have to roll it up. Dab a little on. And then what I do to make sure it really soaks into the cork is I just actually rub it in with my fingers. But then I want to make sure I wipe off my fingers, so get a tissue or a paper towel. It's not oily, really. It's water-soluble. So just wiping it off will, will clean, clean up nicely. And then you twist the mouthpiece and the barrel together. Boom. So you have part of a clarinet. Now that your reed has been soaking, you're going to hold your mouthpiece flat. This is called the lay, this flat part. And the part of your reed that will sit on top of that is the side of the reed that is flat that has writing on it, the brand name of the reed. And you lay that right on the flat part of the mouthpiece and hold it there with your thumb. You want to avoid touching the tip of the reed with your fingers because you will either break the reed or get your germs on there and you don't want that in your mouth. And you're going to hold your thumb there. Your thumb can help the reed go up and down. You want the tip of the reed to be just to the tip of the mouthpiece. You should be able to see a little bit of black peeking over the top. And notice how I adjust the reed from side to side with my thumb and my pointer finger. I can either go behind and do that or in the front and I just make sure it's on there straight. Then I put my ligature on and I'm going to be looking at the screws and the screws are pointing to my right. 
And if, if your mouthpiece has lines on it, you lower the ligature till you can see the line peeking up over the top. If you don't have lines on your mouthpiece, you lower the ligature until, sometimes if you have this circle here, the brand name of the mouthpiece will poke through and you'll see it center there. But if not, you lower the ligature so that the reed has a smile on it. It's sort of cut like this. You'll be able to see that. So basically, the ligature is below the smile of the reed. If, you're, if this doesn't go down far enough, continue to loosen it and just push it down. Now you will want to reset the position of your reed before tightening the ligature. To tighten it, I just give it a couple of twists away from me, which is actually righty-tighty, and then put together. And now I'm ready to blow. The way you shape your mouth is called your embouchure. I'm going to lick my reed again just to make sure it's wet. And the way I set my clarinet embouchure is, it looks like this. And if you can see from the side, my chin is nice and flat, and I have a nice little scoop there. And in order to make that face, basically pull the corners of your mouth towards your ears. You'll feel your lip flatten out against your bottom teeth. And then your chin is really, really flat. And if you put your finger here, you can feel that little scoop in your chin. I place the reed in about that far, half inch maybe, a little more, onto my lip. When I close my mouth, my teeth will come down on top. I close up the sides, I sort of smile my corners, chin is nice and flat, and if I blow, that's the sound the mouthpiece and barrel will make. While you're just learning how to shape your embouchure and get a sound on the clarinet, you should spend about a minute to two minutes every day playing just on the mouthpiece and barrel. If you hear this, take your bottom lip and add some pressure. And the reed will vibrate for you. If you get no air at all, your pressure is too tight and you're pinching this close, so you loosen up a little bit. That's how you form a clarinet embouchure.